There's a new hot ticket in Tri-State football as Central and Brown County will match up for the first time in almost a decade on Friday and they do so as conference foes. We're excited to play Brown County. We know uh, what type of tradition they have as a program. You know, I, I consider it to be like we would normally play uh, Line Isle West in years past. Uh, they run similar offenses. They make you play very disciplined football. They're going to be well coached. They're going to play extremely hard. Um, and it's their homecoming and it's a rivalry game. So, you know, we're excited to play those guys. Yeah, there's a lot of extra energy. Coaches have been wearing shirts from there. We've been going out, getting more excited for this one. It's a huge rivalry game. There's really no gray area in this one. You just pick a side, unless you're Alex Ebbing. His high school diploma says Brown County, but he'll be standing on the central sideline as an assistant coach tomorrow night. I've been able to bust out some old Brown County t-shirts this week, um, which uh, the kids really liked. Uh, the other night, I'm, I'm a Central Panther now, and I uh, bleed black and gold, so I'm looking forward to it. He's been in more Brown County shirt all week. He's got into those, so you know the guys have had some fun with it, and you know we're excited. Well, there's plenty of jokes being flown around, but I think that we're pretty well straightforward that Evan is on our side and that he is a great asset to our team now. All kidding aside, the Panther defense has done some serious work this year, allowing just one score in three weeks. If all goes according to plan, the D is what will turn the gears tomorrow night as well. We're getting 11 hats to the ball. That's something that we've preached all uh, all off season and in the beginning in the preseason. We talked about loafs and 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 we've been grading loafs on film. And the, and the guys know that if we loaf, um, we're going to have to run extra. In the last two games, we haven't had a single loaf, so we're just getting 11 guys sprinting to the football, and that's really helping us uh, keep them from having big plays. It's a familiar situation for this team to be undefeated, but Central is making sure not to overlook what promises to be a rowdy atmosphere in Mount Sterling on Friday. Being 3-0, you know, it brings a lot of pressure, you know, they're the underdogs, they're going to bring it, have nothing to lose, we got to just bring what we have. 